Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel. I've got a quick question for the guru. So I've got a bit of information for you guys, and uh, I've got a question for, you know, we've got a question for the people now. Um, in the 1KZs for a long time, we've only used these brand new, genuine injectors, and that's pretty simple, you know, they come, you know, brand new, you know, brand new. There's no, you don't need to trust anyone that they've done the job right. You know, you're gonna get another very long time. You just think about them. You've had your original injectors in there for, 10 or 15 years stupid amounts of time too long really but um it's not about that right so you know genuine no problem now and they're pretty good value for money really but the genuine glow plugs are good as well but they're quite expensive they're near about 100 bucks each for the 1kz's now 1kd's guys don't touch them that's in other videos do your research before you get on the tools this is the 1kz te or similar now We've been using the HKT glow plugs. I like them a lot. They're made in Japan. I've never had an issue with them. Um, they could even be manufactured by, or to do with NGK, I've got a funny feeling. Um, so, but look, we'll get to that and what these two are. I'm just playing with glow plugs at the moment. So we've been using the HKT for years. We like them. We also use other brands, including Bosch. Bosch, we found the, the insulation, they're quite sensitive. You do the four newton meters on this nut, because that's what it's meant to be and it would crack the insulation. So sometimes, not always. So that was a problem for me. So the, the resolution was to just use a screwdriver type tool with a socket on the end to nip these up and just do it by hand. And there's clips that go over the top. They're never gonna come loose anyway. So that was a resolution for it. But you know what? I still didn't like the fact anyway. So of course we try different products and get used to what we're, you know, get, get you know, we use what we're used to and what we're happy with. And that's been the HKTs now at the moment. I'm having trouble buying HKT glow plugs. So a couple of questions. Does anyone know where to buy them, where they're available? Um, you know, I've tried all the usual Burson stuff like that, Repco. They all can't get them. Um, lots of different suppliers are used. Anyway, can't get them at the moment. So maybe if people have got stock, they can still provide them. I don't know. Maybe they're not manufacturing them anymore. I don't know. I don't really want to go back to Bosch. So these are two other brands that I'm looking at and looking for some feedback. I know a lot of people have used the NGK ones. NGK is a trusted brand when it comes to spark plugs, so I'm pretty confident we're going to go ahead with using the NGKs. I know a lot of people have used them. Who that watches this video, if you can in the comments, please. And guys, please keep asking the questions in the comments. Have a look for your reply, okay? Have a look for it. Um, you probably won't get one, but you might, so please have a look in case you do. And if you don't, it's because the reply is going to be in a video. Well, you keep asking all the questions, they're on my mind, and when I do a video, I'm going to answer those questions. So. Genuine glow plugs, uh, injectors, sorry. That's the easy part, we'll get that out of the picture. Now these, so we've got the NGK. Now which one's which? I've got them out of the bag. The, this one's the NGK, and this one is the fuel miser. Now, let's just have a, a bit of a closer look maybe. All right, see if we can get it to focus up in the right spot maybe, if that's gonna happen. They're made in Taiwan, you know. They'd probably do the job, right? So it's even got the uh, CP22 crossover part number. Right, you know what, I'm just looking at, they're not the same as a um, HKT, are they? Maybe they're a HKT in the box. Oh, I wish I had another HKT here because, but it says made in Taiwan, so it couldn't be, could it? You know what I mean? Anyway, this is the problem. So they just got the copy part. Anyway, these are the NGKs for sure. Let's have a look. Let's get the focus up here again. Get focus, focus. See the part number, NGK, the trusted brand, right? So, I like them, okay? And it's NGK, so the problem we got is, okay, for example, these are 20 bucks each. These are 50 bucks each. So these are 80 bucks for a set. These are 200 bucks for a set. Ballpark, right? The HKTs, they're about, it worked out to be about 100 bucks, whatever, right? So, you know, a little bit cheaper, but... I'm just sort of, I wish I had one of the old, it's just got me sus now, why it says CP22. It's probably just, they're putting a part number on it, because it, does it say it on the box? Let me just take a look. So here it's fuel miser, so they use a fuel miser number, FGP113. So there's nothing saying CP22 on this. It says made in Taiwan. The CP22s, they are not made in, but these look very similar, but it's hard to tell when you haven't got one in your hand. So. Anyway, guys, what I want to know is what have you used in your vehicle? How many cases has it been in there? How successful? And have you had any problems with 
tips breaking off from any of these brands prematurely, anything with the insulation breaking like any of those issues we've had, remembering it's meant to be only four newton meters. So there you go, another quick video. I'm asking for your feedback and everybody else will be watching as well to see what you've got and it's good if we can all help each other out. So thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Please give us some replies and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll let you know later on once we've used a few of these if that's what happens at the moment. We don't have any other choice but either go Genuine, Bosch, Vuelmizer, NGK. My pick's NGK. It doesn't matter if they cost a bit more. They're going to be in there a long time. And I believe NGK make quality products. And NGK may even... It might be the HKT NGK. I don't know. I've got a funny feeling that maybe one owns or has a share in the other, whatever. And they're both made in Japan. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Let us know. Thanks. See ya.